All right, guys, test, test, one, two, three. All right, what's good, guys? Um, welcome back to the build series. Uh, I'm not sure what part of the series it is, but we're doing the fun stuff. So we have a re relatively clean B207R here, and we're about to put the fun uh, turbo and manifold and all that good stuff on it so it can go back in the car. We'll do the dreaded water pump finally. <laughs> Um, and then, oh, run the oil lines as well. So that's kind of the most exciting part about all this is making sure we can do the oil lines really nicely. So I bought a kit, but we'll probably have to end up doing some custom stuff or at least we can walk through the cooling and the oil, uh, flows. And so kind of explain that a little bit. So I think that's the most challenging part of the B207 big turbo build is finding a, the manifold has been nice because it was a ZZP manifold based on, you know, for the Cobalt LNF engine. But really getting then the wastegate as well as the oil and coolant lines ran and getting the downpipe and the wastegate dump back into that section, I think is going to be the hardest part just because of size. So Anyway, uh, the only thing I don't have for the car is a working ECU right now. So if you have a T8 ECU, you want to uh, throw it into the project, let me know. I'll give you my mailing address, uh, but I'll probably have to buy one of those soon. And also a set of injectors. So probably going to go with, I was just looking at Injector Dynamics uh, 1050s. And I forget the exact part number. I'll flash it here, but for a Cobalt SS. So it's kind of the tentative plan right now. I assume I need to upgrade the fuel pump with that as well. So I haven't touched fuel pump either. <laughs> it's going to be a Frankenstein build, but hey, that's what we're here for, right? Low budget, 400 horsepower, 500 horsepower build. So without further ado, it's time lapse this. Uh, let's start putting, fitting the parts on, clean what we need to clean, and uh, check it out. Thanks for watching. Let's go. Back in the garage, phase two. There's a two over there, gotta get it all cleaned up. Let's get this project going. Thing is dirty. She has seen cleaner days, that's for sure. F40 housing. Come on back, here she comes. Ah, classic, good old water pump, nice and dirty. Be cool to do all these turbo lines. Do them right. Good look in those valves. I just got a bore scope. Check those out. Looking pretty carbon uh, build up in there, but I'm not even speaking English. Looking a little dirty.
All right, guys, I got this boroscope on Amazon. We're going to see how it works. To check the valves in the Derek Lewis 2.0 build. So we got a hook and I think a light little end. Let's go try this bad boy out. No better way to try it out than to check the valves. Excuse me. If you keep acting on. Put you guys up. Let's check the valves out. Gotta install it. Come on, Exco. Open. All right, we're going handheld for this. Here it is, the first mock-up with the motor out of the car. I want to show you guys. So ZZP exhaust manifold using just the stock hardware here. Um, these kind of studs with these uh, E-heads on them. But ZZP, then I got the 44 millimeter wastegate. Um, with just this kind of stock dump tube. We were able to miss, these are too long, so I gotta get new hardware for the flange here. Ugh, and the gasket. Um, let me know, I'm sure there is a gasket that I need, a T, three or four, I forget which flange this exactly is. Sorry, there's no prep to this video, so <laughs> just bear with me. Also, please give me some tips and tricks because first time ever doing a big external wastegate like this, and I'm just trying to get my head around all the different plumbing here. So. Essentially, we got the map sensors, um, or excuse me, the uh, O2 sensors here. I just put them there kind of for whatever. But 90 degree, just eBay downpipe for now. Um, I did clock the turbo, so the turbo is actually moving. It looks like, so this is the kind of stock orientation of the turbo, but I think that cold side might face, this might be, 
reversed on this side. But either way, um, I clocked the turbo so that the oil drain will come straight down here. So we got to connect this to the factory oil drain uh, port. So if you guys have any solutions for that, so here's the stock one that sits on the bottom of the turbo. We got to connect that here. Um, then the oil inlet here. I'm trying to, here's the other, I got to double check the, the diagram, but I believe this is the factory coming off of here, this banjo bolt way up here. I believe just, ha just glancing at this, this might be the oil um, input for the turbo. So, and that might've originally sat up top. So I got to connect that hole to this hole up top. And then I have these kind of clumsy coolant um, adapters, which I got some tubing for. So if you guys have any better ideas, I know AN lines, this was just kind of to get a, a potentially running um, set up here with these. And these are just out of a, um, let me grab the bag. So I bought this just adapter kit for the GT3582 uh, or GTX 3582 turbo. So just to get started with some hardware and some of these fittings, uh, banjo bolts, etc. So uh, overall it's looking pretty good, but a couple things that I'm definitely needing. New hardware for this flange right here. I think it's gonna miss right here, but additional space, either need to make our own dump tube here or something along those lines, but everything else is, fitting okay not too bad got to do custom uh piping for the cold side have to run that tube down under that's where the factory intercooler pickup is the original one that runs down below the below the motor but also i believe there's a fitting i need on the wastegate if anyone uh, knows exactly how to set these external wastegates up please let me know I could use some help on that but Otherwise, coming together, grab some more hardware. I got to order an a new exhaust flange, or excuse me, a um, manifold gasket to go in here. I think the original one's kind of shredded. And then an additional flange gasket here. So get those part numbers off Genuine Saab or whatever, order those up. But uh, we're off to the races. So if you have any input on getting these oil lines or the coal lines ran, um, yeah, my original idea was just go with these fittings and then run this tubing. I think this is fuel line. So could use some help on that. I think this is half inch or three eighths. I can't remember what exactly I ordered, but do have a boost controller, electronic boost controller here that I will need to use. Um, oh, it's a mess. I'm not exactly sure how I need to hook this up, but I do need to get this on. There it is. So let me know how I should wire this or plumb this. Additionally, I have the GM one, uh, stage one map sensors. I think after just kind of reading and where these are. So I believe there's one, you can see it right there, map sensor here that I'll have to swap. That's the original factory one. And then one on the intake manifold right here that I'll need to swap. So those are the two. Uh, oh, and then injectors. So I think I'm gonna do the injector dynamics 1050s, uh, Cobalt SS model. Um, or basically that's what injector works website spits out so if you have experiences or experience with those injectors and or i know there's a couple different injectors people have um, suggested please let me know and we'll go from there and i'll get a, a set ordered asap and then additionally if we can run with the factory fuel pump or if we do need to go ahead and drop a fuel pump in but yeah these are G gm stage one sensors that i got from ZZP. i think that's about it thanks for watching if you enjoyed this video, drop a like, subscribe to the channel. Um, yeah, four or 500 horsepower on about 1500 bucks. So keep you guys posted. Uh -huh. mm, not super hungry yet. All right, guys, so <laughs> minor detail that I totally just forgot. We have the crossover pipe from the water pump. I totally forgot that we have this absolute monster of a contraption here with the heater core lines. It looks like 
So this is the water block. This would be the coolant input line for the turbo. So ooh, that is a banjo style as well originally. So we're going to have to. So this is where we're going to get the coolant from. But it looks like we're going to have to take this off. So if I can get it, this is where it goes. It's open hole here. And then this is where the crossover pipe sits. So if, even if, let me pull this off and see how close we can get. Because obviously we don't need this anymore. So let me pull this off. No, All right, back with the coolant line off. It's a, what was that, a 19 millimeter socket? Banjo bolt on this coolant line. Absolute beast. All right, let's see if we can squeeze. Ooh! All right, so I can get onto the crossover pipe. Oh, I think I can thread. Oh, that just might fit. Okay. And then that's the dump pipe bouncing between the crossover pipe and the down pipe. Woo, that just might work. These heater core lines obviously prevent them getting too hot on the down pipe here. Might need to modify those a smidge, but I think we'll be okay. So, all right, that's the plan. I think it'll work, even with the coolant crossover now that I almost forgot to tell you guys about. Then these lines just come over back to the oil cooler on this side right here. It was all plumbed up, but all right. Further uh, advancement. One step closer. Getting this thing on the dyno. So thanks for watching. See you guys soon. Yeah.